Okay, assistance group. Um, the majority of the members are not with us right now, but we're covering a uh, presentation of the synthesis of our system. The, the first problem that we had was the Brooklyn Branch. They have a soil erosion problem, and they also have a water sourcing problem in the sense that they don't, they'd like to be off the city water and onto something maybe more natural. So the first plan uh, to deal with the erosion problem, which was a misunderstanding. Yeah, I was going to say, it's, it's in addition to the erosion, it's more of an issue of the actual nutrients leaching that's what they from the by soil exactly. into, and that's going down their drains and leaving the farm. Right. There's actually two parts of the soil erosion. The nutrients are disappearing in the water down the drain. The other part is that the soil is being blown away during the winter months when there's nothing planted and they lose soil that way. Uh, the first problem dealing with the water was, since the water from the roof collects and goes down drains, specific isolated drains, there's 17 approximately, uh, was to take those drains, put sump pumps at those drains to collect the water into a central cistern, which is really just a fancy term for a above ground pool. So the water gets collected through a low, low power pump, high volume, to the central location. To recycle the water for ir irrigation purposes, you have to have some pressure. To get the pressure, you would pump the water up to a tank. It's shown way up in here, but actually just under the existing water tank. And that gives us about uh, three stories of height, which is significant pressure for gravity feeding to uh, the drip distribution. That brings back the water, brings back the nutrients, and deals with the first problem. Any questions on the system? Yeah. Why would you pump it up to have it gravity fed through the system instead of just pumping it from that above ground pool? Um, this way we can do pumping at any time and the pressure is not, in other words, the pump doesn't have to be running to run the drip irrigation. So we get maybe more efficiency that way and Store a little bit of electricity uh, if the power's out during the time we want to do irrigation, but still do it. Okay. That makes sense. So the pump is only like running one time to fill the tank instead right. of like constantly to feed it. Exactly. Okay. There's, there's, there's greater efficiency in the power utilization that way. Any other questions on that? Yes. Okay. Kelly, that? So uh, there, the two other questions we talked about was the erosion, the soil actually leaving, blowing away. Um, so we were, we sort of concluded that mulching is one uh, obvious, simple, and multi-purpose solution to that, you get more soil life, right, uh, more organic matter. Um, and then we were also talking about some way of blocking the wind. Uh, some ideas that we came up with were like living windscreens, grapevines, something like that. Uh, we also talked about like a wind break down the center um, where there might be like a more concentrated energy we were discussing that. I don't really understand needs to be understood for that. So, um, what we were really talking about was trellising the tomatoes um, and set peas and, and other things that they're having trouble with because of the soil depth is only a foot deep. You can't really drive stakes into the ground that will be strong enough to hold up your plants. So, um, the idea here is to basically build a box. Um, so, it's going to be strong enough just in terms of the integrity of the structure to support the plants. Um, and ideally, I guess here this is three rows, uh, three beds, and then you have stakes coming down from the top that are supported by the entire structure. Um, we were thinking of having this bottom support made of like a heavy pipe material to hold it down, uh, keep it in one place, and then having some kind of lighter material, other types of piping around the top, that will provide the actual, you know, support for these uh, stakes that are coming down. I think that's it, right? And then we were discussing how there may be an opportunity for uh, containing an another potential option for containing the water that you're maybe pumping out of the drainage area um, and using s those pipes also for to hold that uh, nutrient-rich rainwater. Any questions? Great. Nice job.